everyone. Time to check in with the answer man. He's back after a vacation last week. Steve Pokin from the Springfield News Leader. How are you today? I'm great. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. We're glad to have you back. What are you answering today? I'm answering a question, question from reader Jeff Munzinger. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to know why there is just one news box outside the main library, in, not even library, main post office <laughs> in Springfield on Chestnut Expressway. I realized this that I have passed by this several times since once you? I once okay. I read this. Yeah, uh, I didn't. So I went out to take a look, and there it is. L.A. Times. It's the Los Angeles Times, and it has seen better days. <laughs> and I'm guessing uh, there hasn't been a newspaper in there for decades. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe perhaps since the O.J. trial. I'm not sure. But uh, the question was, why is it there? How long has it been there? And it is uh, chained literally to a, another vending machine box, Country Singles. And right. that is similarly in uh, sorry shape. <laughs> the other two boxes there are uh, plastic boxes for uh, real estate. You can tell and, those yeah, are much familiar. newer. Those, those are newer, ads, and yeah. they actually have current material in there. Right. So the, uh, the post office was built and opened in 1987. Okay. So it couldn't have been there before, before then because yeah. there was no post office there. And so I went out there, and of course I was a little disappointed that there was no box for your hometown newspaper, the News Leader. Right. But it was just the, the LA Times, and, um, and it's literally rusting into the ground. It's surrounded by corroded flakes of metal from the, uh, from the box. Mm -hmm. Uh, but there is a tag on the back a, with a serial number and the name of the manufacturer, and it was built by a company called Showrack, which was based in Shiner, Texas, and once was the king of manufacturing of news boxes. And so they had a big day decades ago. There, yeah, they had, <laughs> they had a, a big time. that was a going concern, uh, heyday of 80s and uh, part of the 90s. They mm -hmm. started doing it in 1956. Right. Um, so I, I called them and sure enough they were able to track a little bit of the history of that box. Okay. The serial number indicated that it was a one that could return change. Mm -hmm. They couldn't, it had been refurbished so they couldn't tell me when it was, when it was built. But I did some research, and I, the, it says 75 cents on the news box. All right. Okay. And then there's a sticker on her that says a dollar. So they yeah. upped the price? They upped the price years yeah. ago. Mm -hmm. It went to 75 cents in 2009. It went to a dollar in 2011. So my guess is that that's when it was placed there. And as a result of my inquiry, this wasn't my intent, but you probably could have foreseen it, right. the post office is looking desperately now to get rid of it. Uh, yeah. So. Okay. All right. So if you want an old news box, LA that says Times. LA Times on There you go. And country singles. <laughs> and don't, forget. don't forget country. That's a, it's a two-package deal. Yes. Yeah. You can't leave the country singles out. Well, Steve, thanks for being here on this Friday morning. You're welcome. We have Daybreak in 10 right up next.